Hello everyone, my name is Tex Albert and welcome back to the Lovecraftian video game retrospective and welcome to Robert the Anderson and the Legacy of Cthulhu 2007 adventure slash shooter and as you can see this game features full motion video in this game you take the role of Robert D. Anderson an American and descendant of German immigrants and you return to Germany in the 1940s so to Nazi Germany to find out what's behind the murder of your grandfather who was killed before your parents left he was basically lynched by a mob and what's behind your family legacy and this game here is a fan-made game it says 100% fan-made on the back of the box and it really shows so the game's resolution is really really low and it's basically just a shooter with a couple of adventure style elements mainly key hunting so it's kind of reminiscent of 90s shooter and in this game you unfortunately have only one weapon while well, you have two but it's two different pistols that basically works the same because your main character doesn't like SMGs and you can't really pick up any other weapons at least not until very late in the game so this game does have 15 chapters unfortunately it's very very glitchy as you can see here I'm just clipping through the floor and I almost got stuck in the first level but luckily this game has 15 chapters and every chapter has a separate axis so if you want to skip a chapter you can just go to the next axis and start the next chapter which I guess is good um, this game you mainly just run through a castle, shoot Nazis and that's almost it so this game is not very well designed to be honest I know it's a fan game but the controls are very poor the shooting doesn't feel smooth at all while the cutscenes are pretty amateurish, I kind of like them, they kind of have their own charm. They are pretty anachronistic, but at least the actors are halfway decent. They're actually as good as some actors I've seen in, in fully commercial games. But overall, this game is not very well done. So it feels very, very loose. It feels like they just threw together assets more or less randomly, and the story is basically a ripoff of like a couple of the Wolfenstein games so you have evil Nazis you have occultist Nazis and they just want to summon greater powers I mean we have seen that so many times before it's really really cliche and just because you throw in Cthulhu doesn't really make this game any better unfortunately but let's have a look at one of the levels so this guy here he drained almost a third of my health and that's even though I knew he was there. So there's a health pack right next to him because you need that. Yeah, I managed to take out this guy. So now we have an altar here in this alcove thing for no real reason. I mean, look at this castle. This is just random assets. And this is modern concrete. This doesn't look like a castle at all. So let's go through this door here. Now we have this room here with this metal thingy, random skeletons. Random propaganda posters in in a castle. That's two health packs. So that's three health packs. That's more health packs than enemies. And you will need those health packs if you actually get shot because those enemies can kill you in two or three hits. So what does this propaganda poster do there? I mean, I know a lot of games do that, but why would they have random propaganda posters just in the basement of a castle? So I killed this guy here who didn't manage to hit me at all, even though I could square could hit me and I can't pick up his SMG the reason being that my character doesn't like SMGs yep and here we have a, a blue ATM or something like that looks like a modern keyboard complete with a return key and everything but I guess it's supposed to be a console or so oh yeah here we can't pass through the store because we need a key yeah most of this game is key hunting here we have floating pills but I have full health so I don't really need them. So here's what's not really a puzzle. You just have to move this. Oh, this table here. I think it's a table. N what was that on the right? Is it some random... Why is that door flickering? What's just some random... And why, why is there an, a burnt out campfire in the middle of a hallway in the basement of a castle? What? And why is that door up in the air with, with no ground? Why? How are you supposed to reach that door? Okay, so here we have this guy here who's talking to us but his lips aren't really moving so yeah he's I'm uh, just going to leave him alone so this door here is so it's you need a key even though it doesn't really have a key lock 
So there's another health pack, but I don't really need that. So I just used the switch up there in the air. Why is it up in the air? So why is this game so weird? Okay, so let's go through here. So now we're in something that actually resembles a castle. Now this this guy just teleports in. So let's just hide here. And this guy, as you can see, he can't hit me at all. For some reason, even though we're so close. And he has this black sun symbol on his chest because he's in the black sun society. Which are... Oh, and this... We have this weapon here. You can't use it because your character can't use it. This looks like a check, I think it's called a P90, which is like a modern, like 21st century rifle. I'm not sh I have no idea what that is doing there. I guess it's supposed to be some cold weapon. Why is it floating? What's this desk? Why is there a bedroom here? So later on, we are in this weird dimension here, which looks like it's ripped straight from Quake. And just look at these random ruins here. We do have a Starlet Sky here which is just one static image, but yeah, I guess that's okay. Here's a pile of something. And we have these automatic doors here. So then we meet this woman here. Uh, she's not actually a human woman. She's just a, the guardian of this place in the form of a woman. And she wants us to take some sorts of trial here. Here's a boulder thing in the way, so you can't really progress until she lets you. So you have to just stand there and listen to her entire speech. And yeah, this looks very much like an arena style shooter from the 90s. I'm not really sure whether that's intentional. If it was, it would be nice. If it's not, yeah. And oh, here, it's our friend the skeleton. Same skeleton again. And the same pose. And here's even a second skeleton. And there's more random assets. And now she creates a couple of enemies for us to defeat, so to prove our worth. And those just happen to be the, pretty much the same soldiers we fought before. Overall, I cannot recommend this game. The people who made it probably put a lot of effort into it, but even the cheesy acting, which is very reminiscent of 90s FMV games, can't really save it. And overall, it's not a very good game. The levels aren't fun, the design is odd, glitches prevent you from pro progressing. The enemies are way too strong. They can kill you within seconds until you meet an enemy which for some reason can't shoot you at all. It's very imbalanced. The loading times are very very long and as I already said it's very cliche and it doesn't really help that they just threw in some food. This doesn't really make this game good. Another aspect is if you play this game I hope you speak both English and German or have the German only version because while well, this game does have English text, all the voice acting, which does have subtitles, is still in German, and there's a lot of text within the game that's in German, so you only get the full experience if you speak both English and German, or have the full German version, and for some reason, while the English translation, mainly the subtitles, isn't bad, at times it's really, really inaccurate, and I'm not really sure why, because the English is, for the most part, fine, and so is the German, and all the actors are actually German speakers, so they aren't just people who read a German script and don't actually speak the language. But it's really weird. At times I was listening to the audio and looking at subtitles and it was, while the general story was the same, it felt very, very different. It was just weird. But anyway, I cannot recommend this game, as I've already said, so thanks for watching and I shall see you next time. Take care and goodbye.